subscribe channel for more updates bell icon click share now we are going to derive the wien's law from planck's radiation law wien's law from planck's radiation law what is the wien's law wien's law is the energy corresponding wavelength d lambda is approximately equals to t lambda that means energy d lambda is proportional to t lambda so that means temper the product of temperature and wavelength associated with energy is directly proportional to e into d lambda this is the wien's law what is the planck's law planck's radiation law is the e d lambda is equals to 8 pi k t h c d lambda upon lambda to the power of 5 into e to the power of h c upon lambda k t minus 1 so our task is the wien's law derived the wien's law from planck's radiation law now we have take the planck's radiation law that is the planck's radiation law so for shortest wavelength for shortest wavelength lambda is very shortest is very very small lambda is very very small so is very 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 small so for this condition for this condition lambda is very small means lambda is much less than 1 so from this condition from this condition this exponent term hc upon lambda kt is much greater than 1 much greater than 1 so this value is very high compare the 1 so the value of e to the power of hc upon lambda kt minus 1 is approximately equals to hc upon lambda kt because this term is much greater than 1 much greater than 1 so total this term e to the power of hc upon lambda kt minus 1 is approximately equal to hc upon lambda kt in this equation in this equation e to the power of hc upon lambda kt we substitute the this value so e d lambda is equals to 8 pi k t h c d lambda upon lambda to the power of 5 in total this equation h c upon lambda k t okay further simplification further simplification lambda is the cancel in times lambda to the power of lambda to the power of 4 times here h c h c is the cancel remaining is the e e d lambda not uh, here d nu here d nu e d nu is equals to 8 pi k t d lambda upon lambda to the power of 4 upon kt this kt is written as in uh, denominator uh, numerator 
e d nu is equals to 8 pi k square p square d lambda upon lambda to the power of 4. So, in the terms of in the terms of d lambda in the terms of d lambda so d nu in the terms of d lambda is equals to 8 pi k square p square into d lambda upon lambda to the power of 4 so put the values put the values t square is equals to t and d lambda of 1 lambda to the power of 4 equals to lambda put the value t square equals to t the square of absolute temperature equals to absolute temperature d lambda of 1 lambda to the power of 4 equals to lambda in this equation so because here can be changed d nu is changed d lambda then t square is equals to t d lambda upon lambda to the power of or equals to lambda in the condition of changing of d nu to d lambda okay so then this value e d lambda is equals to 8 pi k square this is the t this is the lambda so e d lambda is equals to 8 pi k square t lambda in this term 8 is the 8 is the number pi is the constant k is the boltzmann constant so this equation can be written as e d lambda is a is proportional to t lambda t lambda so the product of absolute temperature and wavelength is equals to energy into d lambda so this is the wien's displacement law wien's displacement law 